Before we get into this video, I just want to say that everything discussed here is purely speculative, but it leads to some interesting questions nonetheless. Now, these speculations come to us thanks to new job listings, where Blizzard are recruiting two lead software engineers to work on what they're calling a, quote, robust first-person engine for an unannounced project. Now, while it's not especially interesting that Blizzard are hiring some engineers, it is very interesting that they are recruiting for an unannounced project in a first-person engine. Now, of course, you think Blizzard and you think first-person, you're of course going to think Overwatch, because, well, that is the only game that Blizzard developed in a first-person engine, and that engine was, of course, developed internally. So while it's entirely possible that this project is something completely different to Overwatch, given how hugely successful Overwatch has been for Blizzard, I highly doubt they would release a competitor or start working on a competitor when Overwatch is still selling like gangbusters and being played by thousands of people on a daily basis. So of course we have a few options on the table. Of course, this is where the speculation part begins. We literally don't have any other clues. That's all the listings tell us. So what are the options for what they could be working on? Let's assume that it is something to do with Overwatch. So, it could be for a major expansion, perhaps a huge pack of something. Of course, they have said that maps and characters will be free. So what this expansion would be, hard to say. or very possibly it could be for a campaign component for the game. Now that would be absolutely awesome. However, there is actually a third option available to us. Now this speculation is based purely on one thing and one thing only, and that is the fact that back in October the World of Warcraft director Tom Chilton left that particular project. Now he didn't leave Blizzard, he left World of Warcraft to do something brand new. So of course it is entirely possible that we are getting a Overwatch MMO or something like that. Now as anyone will know that is connected with this project at all, you'll know that Overwatch was born from the ashes of the now defunct MMO which was codenamed Titan. And of course, we have a game based on those remnants. Tracer pretty much comes straight from those remnants and obviously a bunch of the lore and stuff as well. But obviously we don't have any MMO aspects in the game. So it is entirely possible that that is still happening. Now while that's probably going to send some people into a hype tizzy, personally I hope this is for a campaign to Overwatch. Uh, why they need a new engine to work on this, don't know. It could just be improvements to the current engine, we just don't know. Obviously they need to make new assets and cutscenes within game and all this sort of stuff, so there is all that to consider. Now Overwatch is a fantastic game, I love it to bits, to be honest. Like I, I was, as I've said many times, very surprised by how much I liked it when I played the open beta before it actually came out. I was very surprised, because normally I don't play these sorts of games, I multiplayer only FPS. Normally it's the fast road to getting me to fall asleep, but Overwatch is fantastic, but it having campaign mode would be absolutely amazing. Having to pay 10, 10 bucks or whatever for that mode, or whatever it happens to be, I'm pulling 10 bucks completely out of the air, it could be 500 bucks for all I know, that would make Overwatch even better. I mean, this, the story and the lore that we have already is pretty interesting. The characters are interesting. So having a fully fleshed out story and a way to perhaps play as several different characters over a certain set of events, perhaps we can learn more about the history of Overwatch, you know, how it came to be, why it was disbanded, why they're now getting back together, or even just like, here's some missions where you play as Reaper and Sombra or whatever are on some missions together or whatever it happens to be. There are so many possibilities for a campaign for Overwatch. So to be honest, I really hope that this is what it's for. Now of course, it's entirely possible that it's nothing to do with Overwatch at all. I don't think that's very likely. So we have an expansion to the multiplayer component, but that's hard to say what that would even be. A single player campaign or they're reviving an MMO. I don't see it being the MMO, that seems the least likely out of those three myself, but of course, 
it could be argued that it's no coincidence that Tom Chilton left just a month previous and now they're looking for two new engineers for a first person shooter project and obviously Tom Chilton's wheelhouse is multi massive multiplayer online games so we could be seeing Titan being revived in some form with an Overwatch MMO. So my personal hope is that it is a campaign mode for the game. Now moving swiftly on from speculation to confirmation we now have a bit of an update to Symmetra that I thought just throw in here since we're talking about Overwatch. Now basically Symmetra is getting some big changes to her kit. Now anyone who's played Overwatch or watched Overwatch at any point ever will know that each hero has one ultimate ability. However, Symmetra is going to be having two now. Now these are de detailed rather in by Jeff Kaplan in a developer update which you can see linked in the description below. And there are some tweaks to her turrets and her weapon but the mainstay of the changes is the fact that she's going to have now two options for her ultimate ability. Now Kaplan says, quote, Symmetra is going to be the first character to actually have a choice of ultimates, basically. It worked the same as before, when your ultimate is charged it will light up, however instead of just only having the teleport move, there's now going to be a shield generator that can be placed to protect the entire team. Not only that, she's getting an entirely new move by the name of Photon Barrier. Now this was compared to both Reinhardt and Winston's shields, although Symmetra's version is an elliptical projectile that moves along a trajectory. So this can be used both offensively and defensively. And Kaplan said, quote, It's really effective if you're hanging behind your time and they don't have somebody like Reinhardt. Maybe they have a Roadhog and a Zarya as their tanks up front. You can set this projected barrier out in front of you and it sort of signals your whole team to follow with it. For those of you wondering, very quickly, the changes to her primary weapon are range, and you can also stock six turrets at once, and basically means that Symmetra will be more aggressive. Now, to be honest, I like these changes a lot. I really do. I mean, I haven't played Symmetra all that often, but it, it does feel like past a certain point in the game, she just isn't all that useful, because, well, the teleporter's going to get destroyed too quickly, or she kind of has to hand back from the rest of the team because well as much damage as she does she is quite squishy and all this other stuff so these changes would definitely help I think and it's going to be interesting to see how exactly this changes the way she is played and I really like to see how these new moves like the ultimate and the photon barrier come into play so again the link to the developer update is in the description below so let the speculation commence. What do you think Blizzard are working on with this unannounced first person engine thing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you next time.